So this patient is having a breast augmentation and she has breasts that are not the size that she would like them to be. She would like them obviously to be bigger. If you look over my shoulder, as I'm doing this carefully, um, you can see that in the pre-op photo, the inframammary fold, so the fold at the bottom of the breast, which is where the wire on the bra hugs your breast, that part is not very well developed. It is there, she's not missing uh, that part of her anatomy. It's just that since there isn't the amount of breast tissue that she'd like to have, it's not as sharp or as easily defined. So what I'm doing now with this suture, this is actually connecting um, the fascia above and the fascia below, scarpa's fascia, all the way down to the chest wall at the inframammary fold. So by tightening this, I'm going to create a slightly sharper line. Right now, we're not gonna see it really well because it's intra-op. I put some tumescent solution here and she's obviously swollen from surgery. But afterwards, as all that goes away and the post-operative uh, changes occur, you'll maintain a sharp fold there instead of blunting it with the implant. And this is one of the attractive features of a breast, whether your breast is smaller or larger. So it's important to maintain it. I'm doing this for some reinforcement. As you can see, I can almost lift the patient off the table just with the suture because it's anchored to the strong structure that is the IMF, the inframammary fold, which is a strong structure. Okay.